Okay. <clears throat> okay, I think. Uh, okay, so we are live. All right, so I have some questions here. You know, students have been saying, oh, they have problems with um, uh, physics. Okay, so we're going to be doing some calculations in physics. I'll be picking topics. So we have projectiles. I'm doing projectiles today. All right. Another day we'll do another topic, okay? Or we'll do another subject. I'll try as much as possible to give you resources. All right? Okay. So welcome to DTW Tutorials. Welcome. All right. If it's your first time on this channel, please subscribe and share um, this video, this channel with your friends, family, and loved ones. And also don't forget to get your DTW Jam CBT practice app to help you, you know, practice, you know, timed, you know, uh, for your exam. All right. Okay. Here. Yeah. Um, and also if you want to get, before I forget, if you want to get the DTW timetable that covers your syllabus for commercial arts or the science, um, there's a link in the video description box. Fill in your email. I will send that timetable to you. 30 days timetable, okay? And uh, what else? Is there any other information? Okay, nothing else. So let's go on, get on to this question. Here. So this first question says, a projector is fired from ground level. So this is ground level, all right? You know, when ground level, you have your vertical, um, vertical vo uh, velocity. You have your... Uh, horizontal velocity so you have this you know in projectile where from here to here the distance from here to here is your range r and the distance from the highest point here to this this is your maximum height okay here you have your u y u x Okay, you access your horizontal velocity. This is your vertical velocity. And you have your angle of projection. Okay, theta. All right? So this is all about projectile. Now you can see this. It says a projectile is fired from the ground level. All right? With a velocity of what? 300 what? Meters. All right? So with a velocity of 300 meters. So you have this. Okay, at an angle of 30 degrees, okay, calculate the time taken to reach the maximum height. Time taken to reach the maximum height. All right, you must know your formulas in projectiles, okay? There's a formula sheet I'm working on for every topic in physics. When I'm done, I would upload that, okay? And you, please make sure you're subscribed so you are notified when I upload the full every formula in physics for your jam okay so for projectile time to reach the maximum height t is what u which is velocity sine theta over g g that's acceleration due to gravity you must know that time taken to reach maximum height is different from the total time of flight of that particular um, object Okay, for total uh, time of flight, capital T, it is 2 U sine theta over G. So no, no, don't go, make the mistake of using this formula. No, it, for time taken to reach maximum height, you use this formula. All right, so here we have T, let me come, let, let's manage it. So we have T is equal to our initial velocity is what? 300 meters per second. All right. And we have times what sine theta, our theta angle of projection is what 30 degrees, sine 30 degrees. By now, you should know in um, your jam, they won't give you crazy angles like uh, 53 or whatever. It will be your special angles, 45, 60, 30. So you should know what is cos 30, you should know what is sine 30 by heart. You should know what is tan 30. And I think I've done a video on how you can get your special sign angles with your hands, with your fingers, there's a way, there's a trick, okay? Um, try to search on my channel, just search um, trigonometry sign hand trick or something, or I'll try to put the video here, um, the link to the video in the video description box of this video, okay? That's if I don't forget, all right? So sine 30 over 10, 
we should know that sine 30 is 0.5 it's half so we have t is equal to 30 300 uh times let's let's just say half let's put it as half so it is easy for us to really calculate so this would cancel out and 30 times half will give us what 15. you know in jam you really using the calculator might maybe take it out from your time so it's always good even right now as you are practicing try to practice and solve without using your calculator master it without using your calculator okay and when you do that you tend to use easier numbers that you can cancel out why didn't i use 0.5 here because i know it's going to really confuse me right so using this half here is easy for me i would i would just say two here one two here what 15. and you see that so making sure when you are practicing you practice without a calculator is going to help you can do it all right so we have here 15 watt seconds so our answer here is option d all right let's go to our next question here okay so this if a projector has a maximum range of 40 meter find its speed of projection now at maximum range you must know the formula at maximum range it means the angle of projection is what 45 degrees when you hear at maximum range okay there might be a theory question at maximum range what is the angle of projection it is what 45 degrees if you read your notes your textbook well all right i'm just giving you this to remember as a tip all right but as maximum range our formula so if it's 45 degrees our formula becomes what r max equal to u square over g all right so here we have to find what u square we know our maximum range as what 40 meter and we know our g as what 10. so we have here making u square subject of formula we have u square that's making u our speed rg right then to get u alone to be the square root of r g right so here will be what the square root of what is r 40 times 10 which is what the square root of 400 and what's the square root of 400 that would give us what 20 so you have 20 meter per second so our answer here the speed of projection okay at this maximum range of 40 meter is what 20 meter per second all right let's go to our next question okay so here this question says a missile was projected horizontally from the top of a building now when you have questions from the top of a building is a different procedure you use when you have uh, projector questions from um, a projection from the ground you know the first question is from ground level now this is from the top of a building right so you have a building let's say you have a building here okay so from this top of a building that's when the projection started right so we have here okay so this is it so it takes a velocity of this that's this three meter per second all right from the top it takes a velocity of this to reach the floor the range of the projection of the projector is nine meter that's the range the range will be from the bottom of the building to where it hits, right? Nine meter. Determine the height of the building. So we have to find the height of this building. That's here. From here to here. The height of the building, H. Okay? Not the maximum height. The height of the building. That's what we have to find. Now, what do we do here? Okay? So for here, we just go to, we take formulas from the first principles, okay? We know that what? Velocity. What's velocity? Velocity is what? Distance over time, right? We are to look for height, okay? So it means we need to, to get our height. Um, first of all, we need to find our T, okay? So... From here, this velocity is u, right? u is equal to 
while our distance is our range, distance it's, it's used to hit the floor. So we have R and our time is T. Okay, so to get T, we know R, we know U, so let's get T. So T will be what? R over U. So that will give us 9 over 3. So our time is equal to 3 seconds. All right? Now to get our H, we use this formula. This says what? S is equal to UT plus half AT squared. I hope you remember this formula from equation of motion, your first principles. Okay? So here, S will be com H, your height. All right? Now U is zero. Why is U zero? Because we're not giving our what? Our vertical what? Velocity. It is only the horizontal velocity that we are given. All right? So this is 3 ms. You know, this is from the top of the building, not from the ground floor. So our vertical velocity is what? Zero. So all this here will be zero. So we have zero plus half a t squared. Our a here is the velocity on um, acceleration due to gravity, which is 10. Sometimes your question won't give you, but you should know that A, your gravity is what 10. So which is what 10? So here we have H is equal to half times 10 times our T we've gotten as what 3. So that will be 3 square, right? So here, what do we have? We have this would cancel 1, this would be 5. So 3 square is 9. So 5 times 9, we have what 45. So the height of this building is what 45 foot meters can you see that that's what c okay so it's a different ball game entirely when you have questions on projector that says it starts from a height or from the top of a building something was projected or it will start it will, the question will, anyway let's let's see another question okay so these formulas are are uh, is what you're going to apply Let's see another one. I, I think I, I also brought out another question like this. Now, look at this. It says, a body is projected horizontally with a velocity. So, this is a horizontal velocity, not vertical. From a cliff of height. Now, we're giving height here. The, the other question we just did, height wasn't given. We're looking for height. So, we have, it says, from a height, from a cliff. Let's say this is the cliff of what. This is the ground level of the cliff, 180 meter. Okay, so here we have uh, we have uh, this with a horizontal velocity. It was projected, okay, of 15 meter per second. Okay, so let's say it lands here. So we're told to find the range of the body. The range of the body is the distance from here to here, when it was projected to when, the distance from where it was projected to where it hits the floor. Okay, so that's from here to here, or from this bottom to this bottom. All right, that's our range, R. Uh, so to look for this, we first apply this. We have, remember, from um, we have velocity is equal to distance, over time, okay, where velocity is u here, and our distance is r over t. It's always good to just remember this as what r is also equal to u velocity times what our time, okay, ut. Remember this equation, r is equal to what ut, range is equal to your initial velocity times time, all right? So it depends on uh, what you're looking for, and also, um, have this also that your height is equal to what half a t square. This a becomes a acceleration due to gravity, so it becomes g. Okay, so these two equations make sure you know them when you're solving for uh, maybe the range or height of a of uh, uh, that's when a projector when it is launched on a height. Okay, not from the ground uh, ground floor. All right, so from here. We know that R is U, T. We are told to find the range, right? So R is U, T. All right, we know our height. We know, do we know T? No, but we know U, okay? Is that it? 
we know the height. How do we get our t now? Okay, we have to first of all find t. Right? How do we manipulate this? Let's manipulate this together now. So r is what we're looking for, the range. We know u as uh, initial velocity, um, that's our horizontal velocity, 15. t, let's find t. t we can get from here, right? We can get t from here. Since we know h, we know g. So let's find t from here. So what would t be from here? Okay. Let's do, so h here, um, let's do this. So this will be 2h over g. I'm going to be fast here a bit. Or wait, let me break it down for you. Okay, in physics, you must know this in physics. Um, change of subject of the formula is very important for you to know when you are solving physics. Okay, in maths, it's important. In physics, it's also very, very important. So to do change of formula, I know this is 1 over 2. Let me just write this. This is the same as gt squared over 2. So you take 2 here, and it becomes 2h over gt squared, right? You divide both sides by g. This would cancel. So we finally have t squared is equal to 2h over g, okay? That's t capital, time of flight, okay? So here, to get our t is the square root. You know, when you have a square root here and you're looking for the subject of formula, you know you need just one t. So to get that one t, you have to square root both sides. The square root will cancel. Uh, this square root will cancel this square here. And this will remain the same. So we have 2h over g. So let's find this. So this becomes t is equal to the square root of 2 times the height is 180. Our g is what, 10. So this will cancel 1. This will cancel this. We have 2 times 18 is 36, right? So what is the square root of 36? It's, it's 6. So t is equal to 6. So we've gotten t as 6. So we put it in here. We know our u as what? 15. All right. So uh, let me just write it here. So r will be equal to our u is 15, then times 6. Let's multiply this together. That will be uh, 15 times 6. What would that give us? That will give us 30, 0. Three, and this that will give us what 90 okay so our range is what 90 what meters can you see this so when you're dealing with um body that uh, is projected from a height please remember remember these two formulas in projectile very important and jam likes bringing out this question because you know students get confused you know when you deal with bodies that are from the ground floor you know the direct formula all right so Please know this, your range is ut, your h is what half gt squared. All right, let's go to the next question. Okay, I think this is the final question I have for today on projectile. It says a projectile of mass 4 kg is fired vertically and reaches a maximum height of 40 meters. Calculate the potential energy at the highest point. Okay, PE is equal to mgh that's the formula you need okay where well, our mass is 4 uh, our acceleration due to gravity is 10 and our height is maximum height is what 40 and when we multiply all this we have this is 40 40 times 40 that's 160 1600 joules and our answer is what b all right thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video um don't forget to subscribe to this channel follow us Click the notification bell. I'll be doing videos like this by God's grace, okay, to help us with our calculations in physics and also in maths and other subjects by God's grace, okay? Um, so don't forget that you are destined to win. Don't give up. Don't feel, um, it's if you're starting to study now, it's not still, it's not late. You have over 70 days right now, okay? You still have 70 days more. So it's not late. Continue reading. Okay, I pray for strength. I pray for speed upon you in Jesus' name. And finally, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Give your life to Christ for he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. Okay, and give us a life of peace, joy, um, abundance, success here on earth. All we need to do is, you know, turn away from our old ways. 
the sinful ways, repent, and everything will become good and new, afresh. Okay? So, um, don't forget, try to get the Jam CBT app. It just costs 2000 naira. Uh, it's really going to help you. And all the links will be in the video description box of this video. If you need other things, summary notes, study guides, you can check the WhatsApp, uh, the the website. I also forgot to mention, you can jump, join the WhatsApp study group. It's really going to help you. Or the Facebook, all right? So take care and see you in our next video.